Flamingos spend lots of time standing in water. They usually balance on one leg to stay warm, and they use their specially curved beaks to catch their favourite food. Shrimp. Hello, Uma. Ouch! Look at that nasty bump. Have you hurt your head? like you lost your balance and fell over. That bump looks sore. It's very important to look after your head. Let me check you over. Let me just have a quick look in your eyes. I'm checking to see how your eyes react to a bright light. That's good. You seem to be fine. I think we just need to help this bump go down. Robbo, can we have an ice pack, please? An ice pack is a bag filled with ice that can help soothe bumps and bruises. The cold helps to take away the pain and shrinks the bump. There you go, Uma. You'll be fine in no time. Just watch out for the wobbles in the future. Now, off to our next patient. Zebras have a striped pattern on their bodies to help them camouflage in the grasslands. Camouflage is when an animal blends in with its background so it can't be seen easily. Hello Zane. I don't think you'll be able to camouflage very well today. You are black and pink. What happened? I see. You have sunburn. Did you spend too long in the sun? Going outside in the sunshine is lovely, but we must remember to protect ourselves from sunlight by wearing a hat and putting on sun cream. Remember to protect yourself from the hot sun. Robbo, could we give Zane some sun protection, please? That's better. Take care in the sun, please, Zane. Who's next? Ostriches are the largest birds in the world. They are so big that they can't fly. But they have very powerful legs and they can run even faster than a zebra. Hello Oni, how can we help you today? I see, your tummy is very big. Does it hurt? Did you have a big lunch? And was it a healthy lunch? Ah, oh, I see. I think you have tummy ache. You need to make sure that you're eating healthy food, Oni. Isn't that right, Robbo? Correct. Every day you need to eat lots of different foods 
including fruit and vegetables, to stay healthy and have a happy tummy. Make sure you eat plenty of healthy fruit and vegetables, drink lots of water too, and I'm sure your tummy <laughs> will start feeling better soon. <laughs> Issa is a spotted hyena. Hyenas like to hunt in groups, and their teeth and jaws are so strong and powerful that they can bite straight through bone. Whoa there, Issa! It looks to me like you have a bad case of the hiccups. What brought this on? <laughs> laughing, then I'm sure that the hiccups will stop too. Having hiccups can be a bit annoying, but they go away on their own after a little while. That's right. Try and take a deep breath, Issa. Oh dear, that didn't work. Boo! Ah! Sorry, Issa. Sometimes a shock helps to get rid of hiccups. Well done, Robbo. I think that has done the trick. Do you feel better now, Issa? Lulu is an oxpecker bird. These birds are also known as tick birds because they like to eat the tiny insects that live on the backs of other animals. Lulu, you seem to have damaged your wing. Does it hurt? You poor thing. At least you can still move it, so we know it's not broken. But I think it is sprained, so you will need to rest it so it can get better. Robbo, do we have a sling? A sling is a folded piece of material that is used to hold an arm or wing still. The arm rests inside the sling so that it can heal properly. Is that more comfortable, Lulu? Good. Remember to rest as much as you can. Now, it's time for our last patient, Shaka the Rhino. Look, here he comes! Rhinos are enormous. They are covered in thick skin as tough as a suit of armour. And even though they only eat plants, they can grow to the size of a large car. Hello, Shaka. What seems to be the problem? Goodness! Something is making you very itchy, isn't it? Let's have a look and see. Robbo, magnifying glass, please. I'm afraid you have little insects called ticks on your skin, Shaka. They are on your back and behind your ears. Mm. I know you can't reach back there to get the ticks, Shaka, but don't worry. I think I know someone who can help. Oh, Lulu! Could you come here, please? Shaka, meet Lulu. She needs to rest while her wing gets better. Lulu, meet Shaka. He could really use your help with a tick problem. Mm. Perfect! I think those two are going to be great friends. When you're the best.
cheetahs are the fastest animals on land. They can run at a speed of 70 miles per hour, which is as fast as a car on the motorway. And they can reach that top speed in just three seconds. One, two, three. Hello, Asha. How can we help you? I think I can see the problem. Have you been out running today, Asha? I think you have been running so fast, you've given yourself a blister on your paw. It will get better on its own with some rest, but I think we had better protect it with a plaster too. Plasters can help our bodies to heal themselves. By covering the sore area, it protects it and keeps it clean so it gets better faster. Which plaster would you like, Asher? Red? Green? Blue? Yellow? Or orange? Does that feel better? I would slow down a little, though. Crocodiles have been around since the dinosaur times and they are very good hunters and swimmers. They also have excellent night vision, which means they can see in the dark. Now, Dahlia, I hope you're going to behave yourself. No biting, please. What seems to be the problem today? Oh dear, you have a splinter. That should be quite easy to fix. I'm surprised a friend didn't pull it out for you. Lots of other animals are scared of crocodiles. They are very strong predators with powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Maybe they didn't realise you needed help. Ah, uh, yes. I see why you came to us, Dahlia. Don't worry. We'll remove your splinter. Robbo, the tweezers, please. Tweezers are used to grab hold of something small, like a splinter, so that you can pull it out easily. Now, hold still for me, please, Dahlia. You're being very brave. There you go. As good as new. Helping animals is what we're here for. Join me and Robbo next time as we help more animals on safari. <laughs>